I sort of think of this as the center of the spiritual universe for Brook Trout. There is more fresh water than I have ever seen anywhere. Now keep in mind, not only was the river a perfect river, but nobody ever goes there. We're the first ones there since who knows when. These fish are incredible. Being able to find a huge girthy trout that is colored like rainbow bright isn't something you get to see every day. Seeing new water is, is a huge deal for, in fishing and, and you don't get to see new water that often. There isn't that much new water. I mean, you have to come to a place like this to find a river where maybe it's been floated, maybe it hasn't. When I step out of a canoe, I'm, I'm not sort of guessing, I'm positive that no human has ever put their foot there before my foot went there. And that's really exciting to me. That's what has driven me for the last 20 something years to be up here and to be immersed in this wilderness and discover as much as I can about it. Because my passion is sharing this with other people. You know, I've been up here a lot. This is like my favorite place to go in the whole world. And I, I'm actually, and I've written about it a lot. And I'm always torn when I write about it because I really would like it to be my secret. For many of us on a small scale, we're exploring every day. But to be able to explore on a grand scale is something that I think is really rare. This whole area is pretty much untouched. And then to head up even farther, which is really untouched and you know has been explored less than probably four times, you know, over the course of several hundred years. I mean, that's, that's exploration on a grand scale, and that's something that I think it's a really rare opportunity, especially in North America. 